storms are coming. Hey everybody, welcome to North Vancouver, British Columbia and Burrard Yacht Club, which is the home to our girl, a manta ray. Today we're gonna to take a look at our radar because we got an issue going on. Well, welcome aboard manta ray, our Bayliner 3488. We were out a couple of weeks ago in February and the radar acted up. So let's go see what's going on. All right, so we've got a good old Furuno here. The model is the 1623. And uh, we've got a funny error message coming up. Okay, so we're all warmed up. And I'm gonna activate the radar. And you can see what we get here. We get all those circles, nothing but circles. And then an error message is gonna pop up here. No heading pulse. That's a problem. I did some research on YouTube and it looks like it could possibly need to have a whole new thing replaced. But I have a theory that the circles mean the radar isn't spinning. So we're going to undo these three bolts here. Take a look inside and see what's going on. All right, we got the bolts all undone here and they seem to not fall right through, which is good because it's a bit of a drop down to the water there. Anyhow, I should mention that I've turned the radar off. Apparently it's not such a good idea to be standing here right close to it when the radar is actually on. All right. Well, there's an obvious problem. The belt is off. So I guess the good news is the belt's not broken. These are very thin but strong, I assume, belts with teeth. And you can see the... Uh, motor and the radar part are grooved so the teeth will go in there. Boy, it turns really easily. There's no resistance on this thing at all. So I did notice here, just examining this off camera, this kind of moves up and down a little bit on the shaft. And I'm thinking that might've been the problem. It maybe rode up a bit and I can push it back down super easily. It looks to be like there's a little tiny hole for maybe a smallest Allen key goes in there to uh, tighten her up. But she's back down now. See if I have an Allen key. All right, so I've taken the gear off the motor here. The teeth are a little bit worn, but the system is 24 plus years old, but there's still lots of grip in there. I think it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna try an Allen key in that little slot now and see if we can loosen and tighten that on the shaft. I have determined it is a 1.5 millimeter Allen key. It's gonna tighten this up. I'm gonna need both hands, so I'll have to stop the camera to tighten the sucker up. All right, through the magic of film, it's done. The 1.5 did the trick, it's tighter on there, and it ain't coming up anymore. Now we'll put the belt back on. So everything's pretty tight here, but we're gonna put the belt on the gear for the motor first, and then just spin this to get it on. Just spinning it with my finger now, and that seems to be staying on the gear. It's interesting on the bottom of the radar part is kind of a, a lip or a ridge that would keep it from going too low but there's nothing to keep it from going too high but hey I guess it's been like this for over 20 years 24 years so hopefully this does the trick let's fire back up I can hear things it's a good sign now I'm not looking directly at this because apparently that's bad but the camera can do that and boy it looks like it's staying up there pretty good Ooh. Camera doesn't like the uh, radar. Meanwhile, on our display, let's activate things here. Now we are in a marina, so there's lots of targets that are getting the bounce back, but this is the barge and the uh, breakwater way down there, and this is the shoreline where the buildings are. And we do not have the error reading anymore, and it looks like we've got good normal signals. So yeah, we're picking up the barge and the breakwater there. We're picking up the shore and all those buildings. So before I put the cover back on, I let that run for about 10 minutes. Didn't rise up. The belt seems to be right where it needs to be. So while we're at it, I had the cover off, gave it a really good wash. Looks kind of brand new. So I'm gonna pop this back on now. I'm gonna call this a successful repair. Zero dollars. 
seagulls are happy. And it's March. Let's go boating. See you next time. <laughs>